get ready to challenge with Experian multiple hard credit polls for your EIDL grant and loan that was denied. And with that challenge, get a higher credit score that you can now submit, then submit for an EIDL loan reconsideration. Oh, Lord. And who is Kimberly Butler, the Honorable Kimberly Butler at SBA? And why did she get a $30,000 bonus while denying your granted loan this year? Do you hear that? Those are explosions of new bombshells being dropped today on LLA. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below, and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And please hit that bell on the front of this channel to get alerts when a new story drops. And we will be answering all 128 of your incredible EIDL loans questions from yesterday shortly. But first, for the first time ever, we're actually going to give you a highlight, a teaser of what's coming up tonight. At 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, LLA will be uploading a jaw-dropping EIDL grant story. In that, you will get access to this. The letters written from members of Congress to SBA, we're going to drop them in the links of the story. You've been asking for them because you want them to be con contacting your congressman, and, and there's even more. We will be dropping this. If you see it, yes. It's phone numbers and contact information. To contact SBA to find out where's your grant money. This list has never been revealed before. It is a public document, so we have no problem dealing with it and revealing it to you. But let's get right to a couple of your comments before getting to this Experian scandal and uh, Kimberly Butler details. So, uh, great questions yesterday. Michael Lombardo, I did contact FCA today. They literally argued, I literally argued with them about asking one question. Who gives SBA the right to change the legislation that is signed by all houses and presidency? I don't wanna hear anything promising until you can answer that question. I had silence and then hangs up when any, ans asking this question. <laughs> so they hung up on him, horrible. Robert Hansen, we need to give him 1,000 likes per video. We can do it, well thank you, and watch this video least eight of this video to the very end because they are shockers and I'm not just teasing you. They are shockers in this video. Um, so get a cup of coffee, put your feet up and get ready for this. Tindre L. I applied for three, no grant yet. Better see the portal this morning. Oh, and was offered $1,800. A brand new business had $3,500 in income before applying. I'm going to go through it and see if I get my grant. We'll keep you guys posted. You know, uh, Tindre, first call. If you have, if you're just tuning into this channel, Tindre, um, what I would do is the following. Before you sign the loan document, call SBA. Ask them where your EIDL grant money is. Um, ask them when it's coming, how much you're getting, and how it's going to be delivered. Please do not sign loan documents assuming the grant is going to come. It probably will come, but don't do that, especially when it's only an $1,800 loan. Moreover, some of you have asked, we did have a video, in, and I'll drop it in the links above in the playlist, about how to negotiate for a higher EIDL loan amount. It can be done. Grandma Ducky, credit says my hits are staying for two years. I'm appealing and writing the governor of California. Yes, that was our shocker earlier this week. That ex All these experienced hard credit polls, and let me back up. Uh, SBA, what they did was, you know, you applied for an EIDL loan, certainly. They're allowed to do an experience hard poll, but you didn't need a hard poll for grant. The grant is not a lending instrument. There was no reason for them doing an experience hard poll. Moreover, if they're denying loans based upon just the, the number of the experience score, you could do that with softball. But viewers of this channel have indicated that they suffered 2 to 11 Experian hard polls, suffering upwards of 100 points drops in their experience credit score. This is outrageous. This is not a little, uh, little nothing. It is horrible. So Grandma Ducky, stay with us because the bombshell is about to drop. AWZ, oh, these meddling kids at SBA. <laughs> Rich Nostro, LLA, love everything you're doing. 53 points on my drop from Experian, from SBA Tuesday. And it's outrageous. 53 points just this week for Rich Nostro. Tried calling today and find out what I had um, recording. They said I was 496 in line. Awful. America City's Mohammed here. Love your videos. Oh, hey, nice to meet you, Mohammed. Uh, if I get denied and your credit score increases significantly after that, do I do a reconsideration? Will that help? Thank you, events. Yes, that's actually what this video is about today. So stay with us, Mohammed. It's going to come up shortly. Um, Samuel Lombardo, does the law state that SBA can do hard balls on credit scores for the CARES Act disaster? I'm just curious how you read that. Um, 
It does not. But uh, and, and the federal government allows them to do what they need in determining for processing loans. The only problem is the grant is not a loan. It's a grant. So they have no authority to do a hard pull on a grant. Now, if they say it's a grant advance against the loan, fine. Under that argument, you do it once. You don't do it twice. President Caesar just got off the phone with a tier two and said, I received the grant, but I never did. What do I do next? Oh, my God. This is yet another viewer of this channel. There have been a lot that have been denied for receiving a grant that they never received or are being told they got a grant. Um, after 10 minutes later, another tier two said I had to wait for advance and that if I get the loan, it'll come with the grant. True, yes, that was deep dropped to this channel last weekend. You do not get a grant anymore unless you have a loan approved. Now, some of the viewers of the channel, and that was another video, I'll drop in the links above, where they accepted the loan to get the grant and then paid back the loan. Um, the other twist to this is a lot of people um, have now suggested that there might be some digression from that. So we'll see. Uh, Nate N2, hard inquiry st stay on your report for two years. So the SBA inquiry is just like any other inquiry for a loan. Not true, Nate. Um, th there, well, it, it, it will stay on your uh, credit report for two years, but it was a, these were grants. These weren't loans. Wes Hughes, I've got no grant money to this day. I'm still trying of calling and getting the same story. It's processing. What the hell? Heartfelt music. Always a great job, LA. Well, thank you. Hol Holy City Picker. Did my application on 4-3. A lot of stuff here from Holy City Picker. Uh, call 36 times. Wow. I'll get updated if I get a denial. Good luck to everyone with your heads up. Your channel's been a wealth of information. Thank you for all work. So, um, n has not gotten the loan yet. Stay with us, Holy Picker. I want to find out what happens. Frank Goody, I applied March in March. Credit poll 418. Credit didn't go down. Oh, good. Got a receipt email. Approval for $21,000 loan. I accept the loan. Got deposit of $4,000. I believe that's a grant money since I have four employees. So great. So Frank got his grant money. Hasn't gotten his loan money, but that's coming too. Do you believe he will receive the full $10,000? Maybe from this channel, but not from SBA. Love your channel. Keep up the good work. Chris Nanopoulos. Thank you for the Info. I had a little side hustle, but my loss was under 1000 I applied, got a $1,000 grant. I could barely hear them when waiting on hold for 45 minutes. She gave me the turnaround, told me to appeal after your bombshell. That's what I'll do. Thanks. Absolutely. Watch what's coming up before you do that. Uh, Kristen Chester. I want to thank you for always being there every day and night and helping us get through this EI SBA mess. Applied for four uh, on 525. I got a denial of the loan. This sucks. Um, I would do a reconsideration. And it was based upon her credit. I would do a reconsideration, Kristen, but stay with us. You can see why in a, in, in a moment. Bruce Randall, grant update. I got my EIDL loan approval for 3400 3, Awful. Out of the blue, I got a $1,000 grant show up into my business account. The loan was not shown. If they had given me the $10,000, it was in the CARES Act. I would have not, more than enough. I would not need the loan. Very well said. Very well said. That's why I, that's why I rolled my head a second ago. Keep up the good work, LA. Well, thank you, Bruce. Um... On update on credit checks, I have an Experian web men membership. It showed two SBA hits in April. The site says increase stay on your expect score core for 25 months and stop impacting your FICA score after one year. Absolutely true. That's what we said, 25 months. Uh, Ansfar H uh, says his his um, his loan is pending. Keep it up. I want to know what happens. Uh, Jean Chrome is writing her senator, not out of myself, but out of how they treated other people. I'm starting to, I'm going to start my own SBA soup business administrator. I love that. Um, she is pissed about the $10,000, uh, rightfully so. Andrea Hunt, thank you for your dedication, brilliant idea. What do we, when, what will we do when this is over? Miss your daily insights. Uh, I'm not going anywhere if you don't go anywhere. <laughs> so stay with me, Andrea. Robert Henson, Hans, uh, Robert Henson, thanks, Elliot. Always waiting to watch. Well, thank you. And, and watch the grant story tonight, Robert. Boy, oh, please watch that grant story tonight. Robert Jones, they pulled mine and at one point drop on Experian. I only requested a grant, so not sure why they pulled my credit just as Fred, Friday if they aren't doing grants alone. I mean, that's really great. Um, that's a great point. Julie Michaelis. I have no alert on my credit history. SBA deposited $1,000 today. I've been waiting for weeks, but um, I'm so lost. Where Where's the rest of the money? And she has happy face, smiling, laughing faces. Yeah, I mean, what the hell is $1,000? Is that the grand? Is that the loan? What is that? Um, 
Tim Rice, as I, I'm ready to appeal my decision, will you provide the letters you have for the SBA? Thanks. Yes, Tim. Watch our video from EIDL Grant tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will have that and more. Uh, and we'll drop it in the links to this video if you're watching this video after that. Bill Lemon, Queen Bee Psycho. Yeah, I, I butchered someone's name yesterday. Sorry about that. Uh, why Marano? I've got mine. Yeah, well, good. Ernie Terrell. Funny thing is, about 24 hours, my senator contacted me on behalf of an EID, EIDL denial letter. Uh, I haven't used my credit in 13 years. I didn't ask for a loan. I asked for a grant. So they checked my credit checks without my permission. Uh, interesting argument. I love that, Ernie. BHPH. You do not you do not have real estate loans in present or past to get approval for EIDL loan. Um, oh, <laughs> Moo G, congrats on the 5,000 subscribers. Love your channel. Well, thank you. Um, we unlocked them last night, so you could see we were oh, we were moving up, moving up, and uh, we passed 5,000 yesterday. Thank you for all your patronage of this channel. Uh, we're at, I think, our 30-day mark now. One million views, and we've helped five to $20 million, get five to $20 million for you, the viewers. So it's still going. Um, keep on this ride. Chris Gagan, great videos. Got an email with the following. Can, uh, can you please provide so I can process your loan, tax returns, um, tax returns, business identity? So I started in December as a side hustle with no business license. What other documents can I show that I was in business? Oh, very good. Um, you know, any any transactional documents. I mean, transactional documents are key. I think it was uh, Ricardo Hall that dropped in a question once, how do you do this? And he wanted just financial statements. I said, no, no, you need to have transactional documents. So billing, receipt, um, invoices, something that shows the transactions are occurring, that there's actually commerce occurring. Kenya Safari, if you have any more questions, drop them below. So Kenya Safari, uh, I did the reconsideration like two minutes ago after I got the denial while well, I was fast. I got an instant response that got my letter. First time I didn't. Oh, yeah, we said that as, as well. If you're doing a reconsideration and you send it and they don't respond, thank you, I got it, send it again. A lot of viewers have said this in the channel. If they don't respond, when they get it, they say, I got it, thank you. If they don't respond, I got it, then send it again because it means they didn't get it. I don't know why, but they didn't get it. Um, today I received an email to send my taxes to bank account. I don't remember if you remember me, but I, my application was fee three, and my application was my credit was pulled for, uh, April seventeenth. We'll keep you updated. So I love this. I mean, a lot of these viewers on the reconsideration denials are actually being told, please submit documents to support the contentions. So it shows some progress. Walter Stillwagon, I saw the hard credit poll today. Um, I'm contacting my local congressman to see what information I can get from SBA. This is two weeks ago. People need to reach out to congressmen and senators for help with this. Absolutely true. Anthony Caspers Capersino, are there any restrictions on what the grant portion can be used for? No. Uh, Laura Alvarado, hey, LA from El Paso, Texas. Those four million debit cards, it's only for those who haven't gotten the first round stimulus checks. This is Bozos for Americans. He's incorrect, right? Uh, Trey Trey, hey, LA, it's Trey Trey from Miami. Is there a three, tier three or tier four one called SBA? There is not, but there are, there are supervisors. And if you watch our EIDL grant story that we're dropping at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you're going to see the Tier 3 and Tier 4 uh, ostensibly phone numbers. Uh, John Hammerlund. Hey, LA, possible bombshell. Got the port portal on 517-330 Vortex. Click the uh, approval. After two days, F call Tier 2 after seven days. Fixing it. Heads up. The best Tier 2 I ever had to... To ask answer a question from last night, he knew the loan amount. Thanks for your offer. Um, oh, so he went to click the loan, and there was no documents to sign, and he called them up and heard there was a glitch with the system. A lot of people are hearing glitches <laughs> with their system. I mean, they're glitches with the company, the, the agency, but they're glitches with the system. And for some reason, they're not they're not giving the correct loan amount. They're not the, the system is not processing the loan. So call SBA. The Queen. It's true. I read an Experian two year history inquiry. Um, so she suffered a two year inquiry because of all these hard pulls. Anadel Canale. This is one of your best videos. Keep up the good work. Wonderful. Thank you, Anadel. Uh, Lee 706, why pay the EIDL loan back early? You're not required to start paying it for a year. A uh, good point. Uh, oh, Melton, mine's just 4,000, popped up around 7, 9 p.m. last night. I'm set up as an S Corp, got an email. People lie, numbers don't. 
Um, okay. Kim Akins. Thank you for all the great info. Well, thank you, Kim. Dominique Devell on Experian website. I says I have a 639 and my vengeance score is 536. Shaking my head. I mean, what she's talking about is what we've been talking about this week is that the, the instrument that SBA used was Experian Vantage 3.0. It is a non-widely used credit check system that is a product, a brand of several agencies. The widely reported use, uh, brand is FICO, which is now you know, up to five, FICO 8 or FICO 9. It's way up there now. So SBA is using, we, we had a video on that earlier this week, that SBA is using a, a non-widely held Experian Vantage 3.0 brand that could, in essence, ostensibly, allegedly, deny more of you a loan than had they used a more widely held brand like FICO. Um, Elmer, SBA is being inconsistent when handling people's applications. Absolutely true. b 2 I'm seeking of freezing my credit to, to avoid the hard pull. This crap doesn't make sense. And uh, I, uh, oh boy, and Janaya, uh, if you get the advance, how do you refuse the loan if it's on the basis of credit checks? They could destroy. I don't understand that. Um, oh, well, I mean, if you got the, if you got the grant and you don't want the loan, don't open the portal invite when it comes. It's as simple as that. Joseph Brown. This is Joe from Virginia. F applied for the EIDL grant back in March. Got a loan invite for $4,000. Uh, sorry, SBA, but I've been calling every day. So no, don't have to apologize to them or me. D. SBA rep said I had 30 days to accept the loan offer. I feel a feeling they're going to deny me because of credit. Do I get 30 days or 60 days to decide to accept the loan? I may return it back and keep the grant. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was the topic of the video of this channel, that people accepted the loan and then to get the grant and then return the loan to then uh, keep the grant. It's something you have to decide whether to do. Sylvia Gandhi, hey, LA, SBA called today. I finally got someone that made sense. Called SBA. A rep went over my application. My bank account is not my name. He changed the info, said my grant will come next week in my loan portal after. If I don't get a call next week, I'll keep you posted. Great news. So let me drop the bombshells right now. Um, first, get a pen and paper. Get a pen and paper fast because I'm going to give you a phone number. There are two ways you can dispute an Experian credit check. Um, they are, you can first do it on the phone to start the process, or you can do it online. If you do it on the phone, this is the phone number to call. 866-200-6020. I'll repeat. 866-200-6020. Uh, that is to get to the Experian Credit Check Dispute Department. Basically, what you're going to say is you're going to say, hey, um, SBA uh, Gov filed multiple hard pulls against my Experian Credit Check. I did not authorize them to do multiple hard pulls. You may want to say maybe you authorized one, which you arguably may have uh, authorized, but you didn't authorize two or 10 or 11 like some of you did. And you want to dispute these multiple hard pulls um, ASAP. Now, um, if you are tech savvy and love the internet, you can also do it online. It's located at Experian, which is e x p e r i a n dot com forward slash disputes forward slash main dot html and i'll drop that in the links to this uh i'll drop it in the links of the story as well that's experian.com forward slash disputes forward slash main um if experience and this is what experience says about it if experience agrees with you they will change or delete the information question on your credit report it's smart to check over your credit report again to verify the changes were made your response from the bureau will contain a link to the correct report However, if Experian confirms that a reporting the information given to you is correctly, you might need to talk to the creditor sending the data. Next, get in the habit of checking your report frequently to make sure the data is accurate. And you can get free annual copies from annualcreditreport.com or you can check with TransUnion. So there you go. I want you to do that if you were denied any IDL loan for bad credit history and that they pulled the Experian credit checks after your credit fell, um, then do that because what could ostensibly happen, I'm not making any guarantees or representations that it work, but what could happen is Experian could remove those multiple hits, your Experian credit score could go up, 
And then if you really do want to do a reconsideration, which some of the viewers of this channel are for denial of an EID loan, then you could submit the higher Experian credit score to SBA says, hey, uh, the credit score was down low because you uh, improperly kept on filing multiple hits, hard pulls on my credit check, I, which I didn't authorize. Now, if you're not doing a reconsideration, it's just good to do it as well because these things should not be on your credit for 25 months. That's how long they'll sit there. Now, another bombshell. Do you hear that? Uh, explosions. Kimberly Butler. Who is the Honorable Kimberly Butler? Well, we detailed her yesterday in yesterday's video, and a lot of you wanted to know more about her. So she's in charge of not getting you. <laughs> she's in charge of getting you grants. I said not getting you grants. Well, she is the Small Business Administrator Grants Management Head. And so if a lot of you didn't get grants, which I know you didn't, She's the person behind it. Yesterday, Adelaide detailed her letter to uh, the head of SBA saying, you know what, who cares about the CARES Act? We're not giving them $10,000 when they requested the CARES, when they requested $10,000. Kimberly Butler is the one who digressed from the CARES Act. She is the one that saw the CARES Act and sort of just, you know, tossed it out the window. She understood that the CARES, had to have understood that the CARES Act called for $10,000. When you, the applicant, asked for $10,000, you are to be paid $10,000. It is not Kimberly Butler's discretion to pay you less than $10,000. She wrote a letter to SBA, says, hey, you know what, if they don't want, if, if they ask for $10,000, just give them $1,000 per employee. It was not within her discretion. It was unlawful. The CARES Act did not give her authority to do that, but she did that. And how did she, and what did she get for doing that? Well, here you go. Uh, Kimberly S. Butler, as a grants management for the Small Business Administrator, Mason, is pay, getting paid $149,000, $337,000 a year to do that. She's getting paid $149,000 a year to not follow the CARES Act. Isn't that a great job? Uh, this is, she's being paid 110% higher than the average pay for federal agent employees and 135% higher than the national average for government employees. Yes. Uh, and here is the other rub. Her base regular pay, Kimber the Honorable Kimberly Butler, her regular base pay is $117,000, but she's walking out the door annually with $149,000. So it looks like she's getting about uh, $30,000 in bonuses per year while denying your, you your grant money. Isn't that charming? We always find something for you. And sorry if that just makes you angry as hell. But if it does, watch our EIDL grant story coming live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to give you more about how to deal with the Honorable Kimberly Butler, the denial of your grant money, getting your grant money back, and getting those letters ready to drop on your congressman, and how to contact SBA directly through other phone numbers in case you really want to express some other opinions. Uh, Sylvia, uh, Samantha, what? That many credit checks? I got $1,000 grant and no loan yet? Credit check? I have to call them ASPP. Absolutely true. Ricardo Hall, great video as always. Thank you, Ricardo. Samantha, if you corner them to get your loan, I don't get it. We're viable recipients. We want to be able to survive this economy. So sad. It's very true. Um, Terza, I mean, you, the viewers of this channel, some of them got nothing. And instead, what they got from, uh, from Miss Butler, Honorable Butler, was... 11 ch uh, hard pulls on their Experian credit score that sits there for 12 months, 25 months, and, and drops their score by 100 points. I mean, what's going on here? I mean, really, what is going on here? Does anyone know? Does anyone have an answer? Terza, if you do, have a drop in the comments below. Uh, Victoria Chanel. I got an email from the portal. I accepted half of the amount of money, but I did not sign the documents. I want the grant only. Can I give the loan money right back? Yes. Absolutely true. Watch one of our videos about that subject. It's in the title of the, of the, of the video, Victoria. Uh, SW Works, I got the $1,000 grant. They did not pull my credit. Great. Uh, Sammy Hamad, hey, like, does SBA monitor the use of your disaster loan? Yes, they do. Watch our terms and conditions video. That is really one of the, if you want the loan and you accept the loan, you have to watch our terms and conditions video. It is, you know, an eye opener. Um, can you pay off the loan on a vehicle if it's used for getting the loan, getting it back and forth to work? Can you use the money to pay off a vehicle? No, I don't not I don't think so. But look at those terms and conditions. MC nine nine six cars. Love the videos. LA. The only way everyone will be able to have these points back on the credit is if they call SBA hard credit checks and have them removed. If the original dispute for the IDL did not inform you of a credit check, 
Um, well, I mean, <laughs> let's even go by that logic, um, MC996 cards. If it was one application for one individual and you authorized one check, you didn't authorize two checks. You didn't authorize 11 checks. I mean, it's very easy. We don't have to make it more complicated than it is. Carlos Tovar, bombshell, you've answered 93 questions previously. <laughs> I wish people would stop looking up, looking up and you clearly state tiles and watch the info and patiently waiting for others only new info. It's been a long time. It's getting, oh my God. Ray Schneider, I applied uh, for, for EIDL loan on 4-7. Uh, may file the appeal. How long does it take to get an answer for the appeal? I will also with my center. Ray, um, as I said, when you file reconsideration, you should get a, a receipt of uh, an email from them that says, thank you, I got your reconsideration. If you don't, you need to file again. Then they're going to ask for additional documents. If they don't, there's something wrong. This requesting of additional documents is good. It means they're working on it. Fennell, hey, Alan, I called my congressman woman today, Martha Roby. I told her, I, I, I was told I could call them or I can contact them. She said I would... I contact them in Birmingham. My question was, what does unverified information mean? She asked me to send her the email. I did send the email. Do, do what the letter says, reapply. I sent her another email. How do I verify something when I don't know what I'm to verify? Am I missing something? This is a hot mess. Uh, yes, Fennel. Some of you are denied any ideal loan due to unable to verify identity. It's as simple as the unable to verify the business's existence, whether you're a solo proprietor, that meaning the business is in your name, Fennel, or it's in your business's, or it's in a corporate name like Fennel LLC. Um, they need to verify the business's existence, not to verify that you exist. They know you are, you're, you're there, you're writing an email. Uh, the way they verify it is the existence. So business licenses, um, tax returns, EI, uh, if, it, if it's a business, EINs, um, bank statements, um, invoices to clients, uh, anything that verifies that this business exists, they know you exist. So if, if the business is in the business name, that's easy because it is, it is a incorporation document with the Secretary of State and it's EIN. If it, the business is in your personal name, you, that's a little bit harder. So you need to verify that your business as you exist. Uh, uh, Schedule C is the most obvious one. If you have a Schedule C in 2018, return in 2019, that's the obvious one. Um, K.O. Reynolds, I was sending the approval for an amount. I expected it, and I've not heard anything for a week. What do I do if they let me sign the loan? What's up? Call them. Call them. Maybe a technical glitch, as they call it. Ernie, I'm going to have to go to the Attorney General to press charges for violating the law. We'll see what shakes out. Absolutely. Uh, Jacina. Oh, wow. This is all Jacina. It's an entire page. Update. <laughs> 520. Yeah, I'll jump to the update. Just check my bank account. Fund slow. Show pending. Now, the money is in hand. I'm more comfortable raising hell about the process attempting to dispute the multiple credit check dings and getting rid of the rest of the grant money. Worth a shot. I'm going to stay tuned to all your updates in case I have help, but mostly because at this point, it's my new addiction. Well, thank you. Um, please don't jump ship because you got the money. Uh, I wouldn't be here for, you know, whatever, golf or football or, you know, soccer, celebrity news. Just don't jump ship. Um, but yes, I mean, I'm glad you got the money. Um, I'm glad she was pending. Now, um, don't give up hope about getting the remaining of the ten thousand dollars and certainly watch our ei watch this video for getting the dings off your credit score wuhan these misfits are holding my loan for more than four weeks after my grant now i'm afraid they're going to destroy my credit rating how many hard pulls did they have on me by the way la we love you all a uh, wuhan the only way you'll know is you go into experience and look it up it's free to look it up d there are several free credit checking agencies that allow you to check. Oh, he's answering Wuhan's question. That allows you to check your Experian Vantage score for free. Do a Google search. Um, I My Vantage score is 13 points lower than FICO. I mean, that's, that's again, our video from a few days ago. I'll drop in the links above that. That basically said, hey, they used Experian, not FICO, and Experian is less widely used. Sophie K uh, Nestor Camacho, you cannot dispute an authorized inquiry. You can only dispute an author unauthorized inquiry. Um, well, no unauthorized um, Nestor 10 to 11 inquiries they authorize at arguably only one. And so all the rest of them are unauthorized. Sophia King, portal in Vi four, five forward, loan deposit 527, asked about the remainder of my grant, was told up to the loan officer. It is, yeah, it's up to Kimberly Butler. It's not up to the loan officer. Um, what's going on? Um, stay with us. Let's all fight to get the remainder of that grant money. Eduardo Romas. Hey guys, you've been a huge credit. If you got a huge credit drop, you might be because of SBA, possibly because you applied for mortgage forbearance. No, that's not the purpose of the channel. Um, Melissa Mendez. 
credit pulled 427 accepted the offer of 20,000 oh great she got an offer 29,000 uh, no she uh, she accepted a $18,000 of a $29,000 loan uh, what's up next? Congrats, excellent resource for YouTube channel. I'm from Puerto Rico. Oh, well, uh, hello to Puerto Rico. I hope they accept. Um, if they haven't accepted yet, call us and say, hi, are you accepting my loan? And ask them where your grant money is. Payam Safari, who, who comments regularly. Hey, Ali, I'm the guy who is going to read the SBA about getting my grant before the loan. Oh, so I made multiple call, calls yesterday. I was so angry. The lady knew my bank account info was incorrect. But why I didn't get the grant from the other business entity? Well, come to find out that there are multiple owners, there are multiple credit checks. A problem with any one of them uh, will result in grant not going out. I believe my baby brother, 20 years old, is also an owner. Apparently his credit was froze or something. Anyways, if you shouldn't have taken so many different tier two representatives to tell, to tell me about this, these people are amateurs. I'm happy the last person get as much as help. She suggested the best way to get the grant ASAP was to go ahead and sign the loan documents and I can still reject the loan laugh later. So I'll leave you l this running message. I'll finally get the grant. I was a 330 running on two months now. So yeah, um, pay on. Watch our, our video by that same topic, accepting the loan to get the grant and then returning the loan. Uh, only Memi with a very long message. She says, I know that a lot of people are saying they've been told by tier two that unless they get approved for the loan accepted, they won't get the grant. That's not my scenario. I think she's he or she is the person we detailed in yesterday's video that said they accepted the, they accepted, they got the lo a grant before the loan just recently. Uh, that's my scenario. So I didn't ask them about, but I'll just I'll just do that tomorrow, and I'll update you. Hopefully, if you leave something positive, you can share with the viewers and get them a little more hope. I did it for me. Um, Nestor. Uh, Vantage Score is just a system that, inf that evaluates the information received from experience, TransUnion, and Equifax. Well said. Voice Bootcamp um, dropped four points his credit score watching the show every day to learn new news great job you're doing thank you and angela davis love your video well thank you angela so a lot of stuff here um 866-200-26020 again 866-200-6020 call experian or go online experian.com forward slash dispute floor slash main dot html i'll drop in the links below dispute these credit checks and get ready to deal with the honorable kimberly butler who got a bonus and not deny it to deny you a grant. Isn't that a great? Awful. Um, this is Adelaide. Thanks for tuning in. As always, stay with Adelaide for more.